Hey everybody, happy new year, happy 2016. There's been a lot of complaints I've seen about 2015 being a crappy year and there was definitely a lot of really bad stuff that happened in 2015 and uh, it was kind of a mixed bag for me, some really, really amazing things and some really, really bad things. So I think overall it was okay. <laughs> uh, it was definitely better than 2014, 2013. So, you know, it's progressing up. Uh, for me. So um, that's good. Uh, I like New Year's. I think it's kind of, you know, uh, like there's this quote going around by Brad Paisley that it's a the first page of a 365 page book or something like that. And I'm sorry, Brad, for messing that up. I know it's not verbatim, but something along those lines, you get the idea. And uh, I like that idea of kind of the starting over sort of a thing, like having a placeholder, like a bookmark where you can start over. And I like that idea, um, I do not like the idea of resolutions. I think that resolutions get broken. And though I did kind of make a resolution this year and I do make resolutions, uh, on occasion, but usually they just end up getting broken and, or in my case, they're super vague. So my resolution this year was to keep practicing the lessons that I learned in 2015. And I don't really see that necessarily as a resolution. I just see that as growth because, that's kind of smart. You learn lessons, so you should probably pa practice them better. Uh, but of course, we all know the most popular resolution is to get healthy, to eat better, to go to the gym, to lose weight, whatever, something along those lines of losing weight. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit because there's a lot going on in the world of like fat shaming and body acceptance around Oprah starting to be a spokesperson for Weight Watchers. Um, if you didn't know, that is in fact the case. She's been doing commercials. There's, I've seen a couple, maybe three or four different commercials of her sitting in a chair talking about how she can't fit into this pair of jeans or she wants this dress for some red carpet thing. And, oh, poor Oprah. Uh, sorry. I know she's, a lot of people idolize her, uh, she's fine. I don't have a problem with her. I just don't idolize her. She's not somebody that I, I'm happy for her success. I think she's a very successful woman and a powerful, you know, icon as far as female kind of strength is concerned, but I'm not a fan of her, of her issues uh, surrounding. She's kind of just known as this person, the celebrity who does all this great stuff. And then she's not happy with herself physically. So she's like this incredibly brilliant person. She's incredibly savvy businesswoman. Uh, she's like been in this relationship for a super long time, but she's not married, doesn't have kids, uh, you know, and all that. And, and so she's kind of got so much going for her and she's really successful in all these different ways. And yet she's still not happy with herself. And that's something that really bothers me a lot. I don't understand why she can't just be freaking thrilled with her life. She's got a better life than probably anyone. So I don't really understand that. And that's kind of been the consensus among a lot of the fat shaming, body shaming, advocacy people. And I have to say, I'm kind of on that bandwagon. It really bothers me that she's doing it. And the commercials really bother me. She's really giving a bad message. And let me explain that because there is a lot of support for her. Good for her for wanting to blah. Look, good for her for wanting to be healthy. Eating healthy is important because it makes you feel better. Physically, mentally, you know, it does make you feel better. Uh, getting some exercise in your life, it does make you feel better. But fitting into a particular size pair of jeans, being thin, none of those things make you happy permanently. You have to be happy on the inside. And if Oprah, if this person who has just about anything anyone would want. She has money. She has success. She's smart. She's powerful. She's respected. She's loved. She's all of those things that most of us want, and yet she's still not happy with herself, and she still has to go on Weight Watchers to lose weight to feel this acceptance within herself. So it's never enough because she doesn't. she's not a size zero. That is a very bad message to be sending to kids, to teenagers, to women around the world who are just not as 
who are just a little more vulnerable, vulnerable about that sort of thing. And so I really am very disturbed by Oprah's joining Weight Watchers and then telling everyone how, you know, well, you have to fit into this particular size of jeans to be okay. And you can have everything else. You can be smart. You can be funny. You can be successful. You can have everything else that you want in your life, but you're not going to be complete unless you can wear a particular size pair of jeans or a particular dress on the red carpet. And I can tell you that that is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You are beautiful. You don't have to wear a particular size pair of jeans to be all of those things. She is proof of that. As her weight has fluctuated over the years, she her success has not waned based on her size. And yet she still cannot accept that. And that's so disturbing to me. And so, you know, I'm going to end this video with saying, you know what, Oprah? I'm so sorry that you haven't found that strength within yourself. You have an amazing life. You are an amazing person. The size of your jeans does not define you. And I'm sure you're getting a lot of money from Weight Watchers. And Weight Watchers is going to explode with success because they have obtained you as a spokesperson. But there's a bigger issue here. And that's way more important than your pocketbook and way more important than Weight Watchers' success. And that is the mental and physical health of our country and our children. And by promoting these kind of programs that don't work, that mess up your metabolism, that make you miserable, and yeah, I'm speaking from experience on this, you are telling our country exactly what we don't need to hear and exactly what's been told to us for years. And that is that your physical appearance is more important than your mind, your brain, your level of success, your determination, your ability to love. And yes, that is what you're saying um, because that's what is happening. You are, you have all of these things and yet you still have to go on this Weight Watchers diet. And that just makes me sad and angry. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up because I'm starting to ramble. But um, for those of you who may watch this video and disagree with my perception of Oprah or get defensive of her because you idolize her. And I understand that. I understand she's hugely uh, loved. And, um, and you are using her as an inspiration to better your life as long as you're truly bettering your life. That's the important part. If you want to do Weight Watchers, don't do it because Oprah said so. Do it because you want to do it. Do it because you want to learn to eat healthy, not because you feel like you need to wear certain clothes, not because you feel like you have to look a certain way uh, to be happy because that's not true. And if you think that you have to look a certain way to be happy, you're never going to be happy. Okay? You're never going to be happy if your happiness is completely reliant on your physical appearance. Your physical appearance is not going to make you happier. Okay? <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Happy New Year and I'll be making more videos soon. Bye.